How do you get it out now? Uh, Henry. It's Henry. I can hear you. Say hi, Henry. Hi. Hey, Henry. Nice haircut. It's awesome. How are you doing? Good. It's good. I'm glad. It's been a, been a, a long time. A couple weeks here already. Have you been staying busy? Yeah. That's good. It's awesome. So uh, I, these live lessons are going to be like a daily thing that we do from 11 to 11.30. So as long as you log in uh, around this time, um, you can get in to kind of like view what we're doing. I know some other people are going to be joining us too. And um, what I'll just do is I'll do like a read aloud and we'll probably talk about some of the, uh, the things that are on the, um, like the Seesaw and Google Classroom for like work. And then we'll go over some of our words and whatnot and have this whole kind of thing that we're doing. So um, I'll. <laughs> you feeling good right there? Getting comfy. Is that better? Is that better, Henry? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. You listen, all right? All right. So um, it is 58. Is I will start in about a minute, and uh, that way we can all get this. And it won't be that long. Probably do about 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Just It's kind of also just a way for you to also ask questions or if you want to talk. If we get more people in here, then you can obviously talk with your friends and whatnot. It'll, it'll be a way to communicate since it's probably been very difficult to, to communicate with. How you been, how you been doing with, uh, with all the students logging in? It's been, uh, it has been, it's been hard. Um, I think a lot of teachers uh, are having a lot of anxiety right now because parents are having a hard time logging in and yep. the distribution was not done well. And yeah, it wasn't, man. It, it was just kind of just, here you go, see you later, good luck. Yeah, you know? and yeah. the, we, the we've tech is not hard, set up. And we've been having a hard time trying to log in ourselves, you know. Well, I've, been okay. try, I've, been try, I've been trying to do it as much as I could, but... Uh, right now, Katie is the one that helped me out. She goes, Dad, you don't need a, a number. Just click, uh, push enter, and it should let you in. And I was like, wow, it did let me in. So <laughs> I'm, glad I'm, glad, I'm glad Henry's on because he needs it, man. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, there's a lot of kids that are, that are really trying to, to get on and access what, you know, we have. And, and then, obviously, it's just really difficult because they're, they're home all day. They don't know what to do. Yep, yep, yep. This is good. This is good. This, this is what they need. Hopefully... Hopefully one day everybody can all gather up and do it all at the same time. That would be good for you. Oh yeah, I would love that. It would be great. Um, I want to I teach you. Well, I'll let you. I'll let you do your work with Henry and, and see who else logs in. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. So we're gonna start the first part of just going over some basic stuff. So we're just gonna go over letters. So on my sheet here, I have a. Uh, I have a uh, chart here. We're going to go over our letters. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, V, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And we get multiple people coming in. That's awesome. So, hi, Madeline. Hi, Ariel. How are you guys doing? Hi. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are on here. So uh, I was just explaining to Henry that basically we'll have like a 15 to 20 minutes of interaction. And obviously, since you guys are all here, you can see each other, I hope, and talk. Uh, I didn't mute anybody's mic, so you're able to kind of communicate to one another. Uh, but we're just going to do like a mini lesson. So we'll just do like a, a read aloud. And then we'll go over some things like maybe our words that we're going to be working on this week. And then if we have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if there's anything you want to just talk about, definitely this is the time to do it. And then hopefully if I can get more people in here, we can actually do like a real lesson, lesson where I can pull out my handy dandy books and we can start going over them. So uh, I'm just going to start uh, over this letters. So our, our words for this week, I'm going to put them out. Um, on Seesaw and also on Class Dojo, our words are lay, L-A-Y, way, W-A-Y, bay, B-A-Y, 
Pay, P-A-Y, Gray, G-R-A-Y, Trey, A-Y, Away, A-W-A-Y, Stay, S-T-A-Y, Clay, C-L-A-Y, Today, C-O-D-A-Y, and then our bonus words were B and, and K. So who can tell me what family we're working on? It's the, it's the A family, the A-Y. So the A family, as you know, out of all of these, the one thing in common with all of them is that they have A-Y at the end of them. So this is what we'll be working on uh, in our uh, words this week, and I'll post them this afternoon uh, when we're done with this, and they'll be available for, you know, practice. And it would be wonderful what we could do on Friday, maybe do a virtual spelling test. Even if it's not written down, you can just kind of spell them out and call on you. So that is the words that we're working on, the AY family. And then we're going to read Jake's 100th day of school today. And the reason why we're reading Jake's 100th day of school is because I think a lot of people are missing school. I, a lot of us want to be back. We miss our friends. We miss the routine. Probably miss it too, being able to, to get home and and. <coughs> you about what your day was and not, oh, did you, what are you doing today? So uh, we're going to uh, start this and um, you guys are, you know, have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to start. So it's Jake, 100 day of school. By Lester All Laminac, and we're here on our title page. Says, Mr. Thompson's class was excited. Tomorrow would be the 100th day of school. Every day since school began, Mr. Thompson started class by adding one link to the good morning chain. Today, they would add a 100th link and all the students would bring their collection of 100 things. Mr. Thompson, he had a super terrific surprise plan. A visit to Jake's grandma, Maggie. Everyone knew that meant something wonderful would happen. So, when school was out that day, Jake and his friends chattered about their projects. I have 98 bottle caps, Henry said. Hey, Henry, just two more to go. My dad and I can drink that much juice when I get home. I'm done, said Douglas. My mom helped me collect the last of my 100 signatures in her office last week. I have 87 paper clips, Emily chimed in. I need 15 more to make 100. And I got those from Mr. Booker in the library today. I'm working on a book of memory, said Jake. I collected 100 pictures of my family, and I put them, most of them, in my book already. Mr. Thompson was in the class very early on the fifth day. He wanted to have everything ready for the big event. Yep, he said to himself, today is the big day. Jake was so excited about 100 Day that he rushed out the door to catch the bus, but he left something very important at home. He didn't even think about his book bag until he bus stopped for Emily. When he saw her wearing a chain of paper clips around her neck, Jake felt a flutter in his stomach. When he was, saw Henry boarding the bus with 100 bottle caps glued to a poster, Jake felt a lump in his throat. When Douglas showed up collecting of 100 signatures, big teeth rolled up in Jake's eyes. So he's, he's nervous now because he forgot his important thing for the 100th day of school. By the time Jake arrived at school, he was surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of things, a hundred buttons, a hundred marbles, a hundred rubber bands, all sailing all around his head and a hundred paper planes, a hundred cookies, a hundred pencils, a hundred beads and braids, and hanging from the wooden rod, a hundred lucky cranes, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. Jake said, Mrs. Wadsworth, are you all set for the other day of school? Jake stood like a statue and looked at her. He couldn't make come out of his mouth. He couldn't stop the tears filling from his eyes. Did you forget? Mrs. Wadsworth asked. Her voice was softer than a pillow. Jake could only nod his head. Mrs. Wadsworth put her arm around his shoulder. Come in my house. We'll tell you something. So does anybody have any questions so far about the story? 
what would you bring to a hundred day? Jerry, come here. What did you do? All right, we'll continue. What did you do here? Jake climbed into the big chair, and Mrs. Wadsworth sat next to him. Could we call someone at home to bring your collection, she asked. Everybody's at work, Jake said, sniffling. Grandma is not at home either. Pray for a superific surprise. Here, said Mrs. Wadsworth. I'll bet we can find a hundred of something. I don't know, Jake said. A hundred is a whole lot of stuff. So Jake's really scared and worried about all that's going on because he forgot his stuff. Do you suppose I have a hundred paper clips in this jar? She asked, lifting it for, for him to see. It doesn't look like a hundred. Besides, Emily is wearing a hundred paper clips. He looked around the office. Wadsworth, all you've got in your office is books. Lots and lots of books. I guess I could make a collection of books. So I was thinking, I'm going to get some books and maybe I'll carry around a hundred books. Can we carry a hundred books? No. That'd be too heavy. I'd be like, oh my God, I can't carry it. You two would be terrible. Ah, I got you to smile there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Jake. Mrs. Wadsworth said with a smile. 100 books would make a wonderful collection for a super reader. Let's see if we have that many. Jake and Mrs. Wadsworth took books from her shelves. They counted 10 books and made a stack. 10 more and 10 more until they came to 10 stacks. Jake touched each stack as he carefully counted them. 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Wow, Mrs. Wadsworth, that's 100 books. So he has 100 books. Is that a lot of books? That's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. Together they rolled the cart down a hallway to room 24. Jake added his collection to all others. Then he made a sign. 100 books for Mrs. Wadsworth's office. When all their projects were on display, Mrs. Mr. Thompson told the class that it was time to begin the 100th day of school. Mrs. Wadsworth said, before you go back to the office, would you add the hundredth link to the good morning chain? The morning was filled with even more hundreds. The hundredth check was marked on a I-fed Goldilocks chart. The hundredth knot was tied on the days of reading rope. And some kids took turns sharing their collection of hundred things. Wow. Maybe we should find something that we can make a collection of a hundred things. Pick up all our toys, maybe, or dishes, or wipe a hundred cabinets down. Then around the clock, there was a knock on the door. When Mr. Thompson opened it, Jake's grandma Maggie came in with someone kids had never seen. The surprise visitor walked with a wooden stick, we call it a cane, stepping slowly into the room. Good morning, boys and girls, Grandma Maggie said. This is Aunt Lula. Can anyone guess what you bought Aunt Lula on the birthday of school? Well, maybe it's because that stick, Henry said. There's a hundred ribbons on it. Aunt Lula eased into Thompson's chair and chuckled. Well, you were a very clever boy, she said. I did tie a hundred ribbons on my walking stick. But that's not the only reason, said Grandma Maggie. My Aunt Lula is a hundred years old. Wow. Wow, all the children said. And the sound of that swooshed across the room like the wind on the playground. Who knows anybody a hundred? Is anybody a hundred? Anybody? <laughs> if we added everybody up in the class, do you think it would make a hundred? Maybe, maybe. We're 16 of us, so 16 times eight. We gotta do the math later, we'll figure it out. Aunt Lula and I are going to help you make a special snack, Grandma Maggie said, unrolling a chart with their recipe written on it. After all the kids finished their 100th day snack, they sat there to hear more about projects. All the projects they did, that's a lot. Look at all the stacks, there's a bunch of stacks on there. <laughs> Jake was the last to share his 100th day project. I made a picture book of 100 memories, except I forgot it this morning, he said. But that's okay, because Miss Wadsworth helped me make a collection of books from her office. She must have a 1,000 of them in there. I put it in 10 stacks of 10, and if you count by 10s, that's 100. Oh, we'd love to see that. Jake, that's an excellent collection. I know you all worked very hard on your book of 100 memories. It wouldn't be the same, Mr. Thompson. Tomorrow will be 101 days of school. You're right about that, Jake's teacher said, nodding. Yeah. 
Jake said, sat there thinking for a moment. He looked at Grandma Maggie with a twinkle in his eye, and then he whispered something to Mr. Thompson. Good idea, Jake, said the teacher. Grandma Maggie, would you please stand with Aunt Lula near the book cart? Jake said as he headed out the door, I'll be right back. When Jake returned to the classroom with Mr. Wads Mrs. Wadsworth, Aunt Lula said, all right now, let's show him some teeth. And Mr. Thompson at the picture. The next day, Jake brought his picture book of 100 memories to share with the class, but it wasn't the 100th day anymore. It was now the 101st day, and that meant one more picture. Boom, 100 picture. That's the picture they did. It says 100th day of school, me and Aunt Lula, Grandma Maggie, Mrs. Wadsworth, and 100 books. And a picture everyone remembers. So they make a big scrapbook out of it. It's pretty cool. So that was our book. Jake's 100th day of school. Pretty awesome, guys. What did you guys think about it? Are we, are we enjoying it? Did we like it? Was it? Yeah. Hey, good job, Henry. I'm glad you were paying attention to it. What do we remember about the story? What was the best part of the story to you? You didn't have a favorite moment? No favorite moment, guys? Come on. Come on. Favorite moment. How about I give you dojo points? How about I give you some points? I'll give you five points if you answer the question. Hello? I'll do it. That's a girl. What was your favorite part? Anybody? Who was the main character in our story? Who wants to say that name? Just say the name. What does that mean? Say it. Jake. Jakes. Jakes, yeah. Jakes. Jake's 100th day of school. Yes. So he was our main character. Um, and the whole thing was they were all doing 100 things for the 100th day of school. So that was our, our, our plot. That's our story. And then the conflict came, like the problem came is that he forgot his bag that had all his hundred memories in it. So at that point, we have like the, the, the ebb of it. So it's going up now on that arc that we have for our plot. So we know our characters, we know our settings, the school. Jake's going, forgets his bag. He gets really scared and really nervous. He gets really like, he cries. He gets really upset that he forgot it. So the principal helps him out. They make 10 stacks of 10 books. So that was our solution. They came up with a way to fix the problem to show a hundred things for that day. And then they took a picture of it and that was our conclusion. They took a picture of all the students with a special guest that they had. Uh, Aunt Lula brought her, her, her um, someone that was a hundred years old. It was really awesome. And so uh, that was really amazing that we had that. And then, you know, the story concluded with our picture. So it all tied in together. So that was our, our plot. The whole story was about showing a hundred things they could do for school. Jake had a conflict all the way at the end. So again, part of what we're talking about, we talked about before was always coming up with the idea of understanding the book, understanding who the characters were, what the setting is, understanding uh, maybe something that happened in the story, the events. Somebody made a paper clip necklace. Somebody had put buttons, a hundred buttons on a chart. Um, and then there was all sorts of different activities that the whole class and school were doing for that day. So those are just details. Those are things that help drive the story or at least give how important it was to bring those things in. So uh, now that we've done our read aloud and now that we've kind of gone over our words and I'll post them, I'm just going to share my screen. I'm going to go into Seesaw. So again, if you've had problems getting into Seesaw, try to commit this to memory. I'm going to show you um, how to access it if you've never accessed it before. And then um, if you have any questions about some of the things that we're doing, definitely feel free to, to call or text me. Um, I will send out a, uh, my phone number on to Dojo because I know some people can connect through Dojo, but it's a lot easier just to text. So I'll throw it out that way too. If parents can contact me if they need to. Uh, but I have this thing I can share my screen. And let me pull up our class Dojo. And I'm going to click on fundamental awareness, and then I'm going to go to, to it. So um, here's Dojo, and Seesaw should be right here. Boom. All right. So if we're getting into Seesaw for the first time ever, let me log out of mine so you can see how you're supposed to get in. So 
If you're on a tablet that was provided by the school, so if you're on an iPad from the campus, it's a little difficult because our campus has a lot of security things they put onto the tablet so that we can't just download whatever, uh, which is terrible because it makes it very hard for you. Um, so be because it's very difficult, uh, it becomes very hard for you to be able to, um, I guess, be able to get on there the way you're supposed to. So hold on, here we are, share this part. So when you first get into it, there's a thing called catalog or app catalog, and it should be saw in there uh, on the iPad itself. Uh, and then once you get into the app catalog, you can scroll to find Seesaw and click on it. And it's a pre-approved download, so it should be able to download onto the iPad. If it doesn't download on there, then my suggestion is if you want to use our tech, would probably be to go back to campus. I know they're going to be open from 8 to 12 um, for at least the rest of this week. And then have them either download it from, from the school so that it'll go through or just switch it up for a Chromebook because the Chromebooks are easier to manage. Um, if you do have technology at home that you can get on, obviously if you got on through Zoom, you probably have something you can use. Um, just go to the, the, the actual website, which I'm showing up here, which is uh, seesaw.com. So if you go seesaw.com, it'll take you to this page right here, you'll see. And then obviously you're gonna want to go into log in. And then if you go to log in, it's gonna take you to this here. I'm a teacher, I'm a student, I'm a family member. I would suggest I am a student. It's gonna get you to this. My password stuff is already in here, but for student sign in, all they need is a text code to get in. Now, if you need the text code, again, when I give out my information, uh, text me send me like a message or something, I can send you the personal code out. That way it's a lot easier for you to log in. Um, each code is very unique to each person. So once you get into this part, uh, it's going to be basically, as you see here, it's gonna be a four, eight, 12 digit code that you put in. And then once you type it in and you click go, it'll get you to the main page. So if I just click my sign in, which I'm not a student, so I'm gonna go back to I'm a teacher and then I'm gonna sign in, it'll take you exactly to what we're doing here. It's gonna take you to okay. this right here. And then it's going to take you to your journal and the journal is basically anything that you post is gonna come here. So Amias has been on and I've had um, zyvin has been on and uh, Ariel's posted some things and uh, Henry, your dad sent me some stuff so I put it on here and then um, I've had Asriel sent me some things. So people have been posting on here. I know it's been a little bit difficult getting on because it's just a huge learning curve for everybody to get on here. And then if you want to start any of the activities, you hit activities. And basically I have activities assigned for the whole week. So there's, um, hey, they sent some out, I sent some out. And then Tuesday I scheduled for them, some to come out. So tomorrow there'll be some more that come out. If you don't get to all of them, <coughs> perfectly fine. We, we're just issuing out as much content as we can to keep you guys active and busy, as well as also connecting to like what we're doing at school or what we should be doing at school during this time. So if you don't finish all of the assignments, there's no points. Try to just do as many as you can. If you can get to be one or two a day, that's perfect. Um, if you want to go back, you can always go back and do them if you have spare time. But Essentially, we're just making sure you're logging in to something that I communicate with, with you at some point today or throughout the week, and that um, there is some activity going on. Even if it's just like a, hey, I'm, I'm working on it, here's a picture, um, here's something that we're, we're working on at home, and then uh, as it becomes a little bit more, uh, I guess, throughout the week, when we start next week, I'm going to try to do a little bit, not a little bit more, but more interactive. So I'm going to try to do like these sessions where we can get everybody on and we can do something together. Um, and then I'm also going to try to do like outdoor activities. So like go into my backyard and do something so you can see like the outdoors and do stuff like for science. Um, we have a lot of uh, space here where it's not a lot of people. So I can go, hey, I can go and, um, 
we can look at deer or cactus or rocks and stuff. I have a bunch of that in my backyard. So um, that way you guys can, can get some uh, of the living and non-living activities actually like firsthand, like real stuff. So um, if there's any questions, just let me know. Does anybody want to say anything right now? We have probably about, let me check my, my phone here. We have probably about three to four more minutes. We can do this if, if you want. You can definitely communicate. I know Madeline, Ariel, and Henry are on. If you have anything to say, this is the time. No? Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Y'all shy. Everyone hides. Oh, no. It's me. I have to hide. I see you, Ariel. I can see you. I can see you, Madeline. Don't hide. You guys are hilarious. It's your first time being on camera. Come on. Come on. No? <laughs> Everybody's all terrified. Okay. Well, then, since no one's going to share, since no one's going to share, um, I guess what we'll do is if you want, again, the same link that we use today, you can use tomorrow. It's the same thing. So. Just press that button to get back in tomorrow, and maybe we'll be a little less shy tomorrow. We can we can contribute if you want to find um, some of the activities that we're doing. Uh, I, I can allow for the uh, screen your screen to share so that you can show us some stuff. Maybe you want to take us on a tour of what you've been doing at home. Uh, we can come up with some creative ideas for the rest of the week so that when we meet, we can you know interact and just me talking the whole time. All right. Alrighty, folks. So I'm gonna sign off. It was awesome that you guys came. I am so proud of you. I'm really proud of people that are doing the work that you showed up today. And just you know, stay busy, stay active. Don't don't bother so many people. I guess because I know it's really hard for parents to get stuff done too. While we're all home trying to help you learn, and then also do our jobs too. It's really hard. So <laughs> um, just again. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Even if it's after hours, if you tell mom, dad, whoever, if you're coming up with something and it's like seven or eight, you can text me, it's fine. Um, I might respond 20 Thank minutes you. later, but it's okay. Like I'm, I'm up until at least 10 or 11. So um, we're good with that. All right, anybody have any questions? Thanks teacher. All right, thank you guys. Uh, I will see you tomorrow then. Have a good one. Enjoy. Bye, Henry. Bye, Madeline. Bye, Ariel. <laughs>